Okay, it's a 1510. Let's just grab this pawn in the center, keep it real simple. I think everyone in chess wants to try and keep some things simple. Nobody really wants a complicated game. So as we said, it's a 15-10, gives us time to think of moves. Let's work on what we've been trying to practice. The answer process. Looks like we've got a thinker here, so we don't have to be careful. So as you know, just bringing the bishop out, attacking the king. There's no baiting of a pawn situation here, so it's baiting of a knight or a bishop. Let's just take it and let's castle. So castles don't want the queen being able to block our king from not castling, but we do have the bishop that could block, or we could go for the queen, or the knight could go here, or the pawn could push up. So nothing too much to worry about. But it's still nice to keep the king safe. So going for the Slovian Chateau, so we may as well block off this diagonal that the bishop is looking to take charge of. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. So simply just bringing the knight through, potentially X-ring through to the queen. That's an interesting situation. So I'm going to bring the queen here, looking to attack the bishop. Tend to see this pawn being pushed over here, here, before, and then this rook comes here. So it looks a little bit strange you now so the knight's coming supporting this area smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong it's probably having to jump back or maybe it goes here but then it loses two pieces so it's probably coming back here to feel safer or is there something else coming up they might just uh, attack the bishop Many options. See which way they want to swing. I'm plumping for them actually attacking the bishop with one of these. Oh, they've gone back. All right, so we can still continue attacking the bishop. Doesn't mean a right lot, but I suppose we're just going to continue with that. Doesn't have to take at all. Okay, so the knight's attacking a higher piece, which is the queen, which is a good shot. Does it win them tempo in terms if we just keep the damn diagonal going? Or does he have something else up his sleeve? Where's the knight wanting to go? I think we can just bring the queen here. Okay, always for the B pawn, so the rook's looking to attack this unprotected pawn here. In the meantime, we can take the bishop off the board. We are on a higher piece, so you'd expect the king to take. So that's fine, we can either support or push the pawn here. I think that's what we'll do. There's no major. Could attack the knight. But we still lose tempo in terms of this pawn.
so they've got a little bit of a counter attacking mentality if you attack me I'll attack you type thing so can we use that against them at the later stages of this game if we know that if we're attacking them they're not going to attack us the way we expect them to they're going to find something else to attack so we were thinking of bringing the knight around here to attack their knight but it does look like if we do that then this pawn is going to drop onto the queen and then that breaks the link between the queen being able to protect the knight I'd have to move my queen and then his knight can freely take the knight so that one doesn't look like it's going to work there is a nice position here with our knight which does have potential for attacking this pawn with a fork on the rook and the queen looks a bit obvious but um, it looks like something so I'm actually going to go with that bring the knight up here Yep, small piece attacking a higher piece is always going to be the case. And if we took, we got a pawn. But then it gives his time to move his queen out of the way. So we're not going to follow that. So we could move the queen here, but the knight is wanting to come here. But our knight is defending that square. But we don't really want to be opposite the rook. Could come here looks a little bit nicer so I think that's what we'll do just bring the knight queen just here gives us some play on the diagonal although obviously the bishop is protecting so it's such a counter-attacking player it's unreal and with them have that counter-attacking mentality they're obviously going to be blocking off this attack that we potentially had fingers crossed the don't because that's a nice position get a little bit of a fork going yeah the queen's down okay so they're a counter-attacking specialist now let's have a look at this situation takes 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 smaller piece attacking a higher piece but he wants his knight to sink into here so I'm going to attack the knight and keep it simple. So if we take the bishop's going to take the bishops on the queen, there's nothing behind the queen. So we don't need to have a heart attack about that. Our queen can move to here to put a two on one on this pawn. But it is going further away from our king which is a bit disappointing and if this bishop does get to sit here it's got this is the queen looking to get to here at some point whereas my queen will be on the other side of the board mm. questions to be asked do we just move the knight across give our king some company if we do do that, his knight can move anywhere because he's got the bishop attacking. Could just take the chance, just take the knight off the board, let the bishop do what it needs to do. Come across. Rook comes across and defends, whichever rook it is. Probably this one. Or well, maybe not that one because this pawn is under threat as well. But we are very far away from our king. And I do think they're going to take advantage of that. I am going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. We do have this 
at some point once we've gone here so i'll bring the queen queen across if we can get this then that might disturb their little attack process towards here but they may push down already oh oh it's gonna hurt it's going to hurt i'm closing my eyes now Oh, seeing the opponents left again. What's the deal? Oh, I bet it's because we've got all these attack things going on here. Well, we'll claim victory on that. We'll have a look at the analysis. See if it's any good or not. It's neither here nor there. Plus 0.8 plus one that's not much there's nothing for them to worry about f3 so they're going to f3 they're talking about yeah this little pushy thing here that's how far they would have been uh, probably planning to do but i was going to event i wasn't going to take it because it's giving them too much stuff there so pushing past would have been okay I really wanted my pawn to block their bishop. That's what I wanted them to do. I wanted to maybe think that they were going to either defend one of these pawns. Oh, this rook could maybe could have come here, but then we just take the pawn here. So if they were thinking about this area, that's probably why they left the game. But they didn't look at the weight of the potential for this pawn. Not that it was much anyway. But pushing here, pushing there, I had thought of them having a kind of plan of coming here, disturbing the king area. So it could be a bit nasty for us because our king doesn't have any company really. Anyway, that didn't happen. Interesting game.